Oh, okay. Um, I posted a video yesterday which uh, played the main riff of Scandal and the guitar solo. And uh, several people messaged me afterwards and said, uh, oh, what's the chords? What's the chords for that? And um, I was just really playing a, a mix of the, the synth that was on the record, uh, Brian's chuggy rhythm part, and you've got these harmonised leads that pop in and out of it over the top. And I just kind of really did um, an arrangement for one guitar. Um, there's no real tabs for this on, online or any official books anyway. It never made Greatest Hits 2, which is criminal really. I think it's one of their best songs in the 80s by far. Um, anyway, so, but I, like with a lot of the Queen stuff I play, I do it the old fashioned way. Rewind the record, listen to it over and over, rather than relying on tabs. I know a lot of people like the instant spoon feeding of guitar tabs online, but um, I'm still very much old school. So um, I'll just show you the chords to this song for anybody who wants to um, have a look and, uh, and a listen. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. So the first chord, it's kind of based on an E minor, but it's a, I think it's an E minor add 11th. So you've got just playing the D string, the G string and the B string. So you've got uh, the D string and the G string on the 9th fret and the B string is the 10th fret. And that goes down to E minor. Same three strings, it's all on those three strings. So you've got 9th fret, 9th fret, 8th fret. Then goes down to an E minor add ninth chord, which is then the first finger drops down to the seventh fret on the B string. And then it goes back to the add eleventh. And that's your pattern, so it's in between that, try and keep the chugging going. And that's the first part. But then you drop down on a D fifth. And then go down to a C fifth. The timing of it is um, then it goes to a. It's kind of like a a G suspended fourth chord with a C bass. So you've got these two fingers on the D and G string on a on the fifth fret, and then your first finger's bowing across the third fret of the G and D, so G and B string even. So that gives you. And then you've got this chord, which is a, a C with an added F sharp on the top. Kind of gives it like a, um, a Lydian feel. Kind of like a sort of Joe Satriani thing. I've no idea what that chord is. Uh, it's like a sharpened, sharpened fourth, uh, I guess. Uh, and then back to, to the C. So that's a. Uh, To the C on the 8th fret to keep the chugging going and then just repeat that I hope that makes sense I'll put some tab up anyway okay uh, so that's pretty much the intro and the verse and it gets to the chorus section um, which is it's got some really nice chords uh, again which is a, a G sus4 so you've got the chord here and goes to a G, D sus4, down to a D, and that repeats. So that's the. And then that does some really good chords. Uh, typical Queen stuff where you've got chords with a different bass line that sort of descend and ascend, they do it in lots of different songs over the years. So after that section repeats twice, it goes to a C chord with an E bass, and then you've got a D chord with an F sharp bass, and you've got a C chord again, but it's some of the G bass, and then you've got this chord, which I don't think I've ever played on any other song in my life, which is, it's kind of an E sus4 with a B bass, and your little finger goes on the C sharp on the B string. So pretty much all of your fingers 
a squeeze on the second fret uh, on the A string, D string, G string and B string. And you use the open E string at the bottom. And then that goes back to the main riff again. So the whole of that section goes... Um, Okay, uh, then we kind of go, does the second verse, does that again, and it goes to the bridge section, uh, which is just C to G, which is... <laughs> then it goes to a B flat, I play this with a, it's a B flat chord, and I use my little finger to sort of pick out the melody. So it goes to the G on the high E string, down to the... F on that string and the open E, all trying to, while well, these fingers play the B flat, so like a. And then it goes to an F chord, but with an A bass, again another good Queen chord. And again, my little finger goes onto the G, making it uh, an added ninth. So it's a, an F with an A bass with an added ninth, I think, I don't know. Um, and then goes up to a G with my little finger then on the A, so G added ninth. And then I take that to the, the G inversion on the seventh fret. Just sort of the, the vocal line climbs up and I kind of just follow that up high just because it's just me on the guitar just to fill out the sound. So that all together that should go something like um, goes to the E minor D to C section again main riff uh, then that leads into the guitar solo which I recorded yesterday uh, and I'll pop that in now <laughs> which is kind of like the outro section, um, completely different section from the rest of the song. Um, bass line is really good, just descends chromatically, but the chords change underneath it, so it, it doesn't sound odd. Typical kind of Queen thing, like I said before, they do a lot of this. Uh, bass line drops, but the chords change, and it's how they get, I call it, a Queen sound. Um, so anyway, this section starts with a G chord, with a G bass, and then goes to a D chord with an F sharp bass. An F chord with an F bass, and then a C chord with an E bass. So already that's just gone. Then it goes to an E flat bass. Um, I play that down here so I can form this chord, which is it's like a C minor chord with an E flat bass. So first finger is on the E flat, open G string, second finger on the C on the B string. And my little finger goes up to the G on the high E. And then it goes to a D sus4 down to a D to resolve. And I play that here, um, all on the, the fifth fret of the A, D and G strings. And then resolve that down to the D. And then it goes to like an augmented chord, diminished. I never remember which way around they go. Anyway, it's a C, uh, my first thing is on the C sharp on the, on the uh, A string, and then we're on the, the D string on the fifth fret, playing a G, and then third finger on the fourth fret of the G string, playing a B. And then I play a little thing goes onto the E of the fifth fret of the B string. And then I go to a C, I only play the third fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string, and then I play the open G and B, and slide that same shape up to play a D using the same open strings as well. Again, this is my interpretation of this ending because there's, there's a lot of different instrument layers going on here, but I think these chords sound really nice. And then it goes to 
back to the E minor. And what I do here is because the main guitar lead then goes to its outro solo and it picks out a nice little melody. And I try and do that for the chords. Again, this is just for like an acoustic solo arrangement. Um, so I kind of do a. Which is the. Uh, so you play an E minor, slide up from the D string second fret to the fourth fret of the D string, open G string. And then the D on the B string, third fret, which makes it kind of call it that white snake 80s chord. Is that uh, almost like this? Is this love chord? And then back to strap to the C, and it's kind of like the end where it goes to the fade then. And uh, all that piece together should hopefully sound something like this. Another thing I come up with whilst playing this acoustically, uh, I, pl I picked the acoustic by the way because I thought it would be a lot cleaner and easier just to show you the chords because that's all I was really explaining. Um, trying to do uh, more of an open chord version of it so it sounds a little bit stronger and fuller rather than the... Um, which sounds, you know, it's, it suits the pitch of the record. Uh, I was trying to do something down here a little bit in case you wanted a campfire sing along it. Um, if he's crazy enough to try and sing this because, uh, I mean, let's be honest, Freddie's voice in this is amazing um it's right up there so anyway i came up with this these inversions down here um so it's basically an e minor but my little finger goes to the a on the g string to, to get the and then goes off to the open g so it's, and then little finger goes up to the f sharp on the high e string to get that ba, ba. and then back to the a to the g so together that's and then you've got the D, down to the C. And all I do there is take my second finger off of the E on the D string on the C chord, make that play an open D, and then I shift it up to the F sharp on the high E string to make that melody. So you've got like a... Uh, Lydian chord. So that's say uh, that kind of thing. And then that leads nicely. I mean these chords are very strummy on the, the chord section, the uh, the G sus four to the G. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks a lot. Bye.